Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel uh, that is uh, Metallurgical Engineering. So in today's video we are going to discuss about the blast furnace. So basically blast furnace is a counter current gas solid reactor. Uh, so these are the uh, few uh, this raw material uh, which we used in this blast furnace basically iron ore. So uh, this when we talk about iron ore so basically we, uh, here uh, we are using hematite that is Fe2O3. And pellet we are using uh, center coke, and also we are using uh, 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 this uh, this limestone, uh, which is uh, used as a flux. So the main product blast furnace product what we got is pig iron, that is also uh, called as molten iron. So in which the carbon percent is around four percent, and we have some other uh, uh, these elements like we have silicon, manganese phosphorus uh, sulfur which comes from the flux and coke and uh, the second uh, product uh, this which we obtained that is called slag so the main product of the blast furnace is pig iron and slag and main raw material is uh, iron ore pellet center coke and limestone so these are the uh, uh, this uh, few this uh, this raw material now if you can see the what are the important blast furnace reaction so basically uh, uh, this which iron ore we have that is Fe2O3 that we have to convert it into the iron. So uh, we have two ways the first one which we called as the uh, uh, indirect reaction. So that indirect reaction is like that first Fe2O3 converted into the Fe3O4 and then Fe3O4 converted into FeO and then finally FeO comes into the Fe. So this is called indirect reduction. Now we have the direct reduction also in which directly Fe2O3 react with coke and that gives 2 Fe plus 3 CO. So if you can see this diagram so we have listed out the important reaction so first one is indirect reaction in which Fe2O3 react with carbon monoxide and it gives Fe3O4 plus CO2 and then this Fe3O4 react with carbon monoxide that will give FeO plus CO2 and then this FeO react with carbon monoxide that will give Fe so that is called indirect uh, indirect reduction and then this one is the direct reduction which is Fe2O3 plus 3C gives 2 Fe plus 3 CO and there is one more important reaction which is called uh, which is called the formation of slag so first this limestone which is CaCO3 that, conv uh, that uh, converted into CaO plus CO2 and then this CO will, uh, will react with SiO2 MnO2 so like this SiO2 will come from coke so that coke you have uh, there you have uh, these kind of impurities so that react with SiO2 and give CaSiO3. So this is what slag is there. So similarly, we have uh, 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 this uh, some other like uh, uh, the combination of Ca and Mn also. So in final uh, product, which is called pig iron, in which you have carbon, silicon. So silicon will come from C, uh, C here, and uh, similarly this uh, manganese, and we have phosphorus and sulfur also in coke. So uh, from reaction point of view, we can clearly understand there are uh, two types of rea uh, this reduction. The first one is indirect reduction, uh, which I have told that uh, hematite converted into uh, magnetite, magnetite into the oostite that FeO we called as uh, oostite and which is called uh, uh, then this final FeO will into the Fe. And one more important reaction which happened uh, near this one, uh, uh, this uh, this uh, two years, uh, which is called this uh, coke react with O2 that will provide carbon monoxide. So 2C plus O2 gives 2CO. And the gases which are coming from the top, so that is the combination of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Similarly, if you can see this uh, beautiful uh, description of blast furnace, which has submitted in our uh, one of the uh, this uh, uh, 
this Meta Expo 2022. So it is submitted by Gerson from this one. So he has submitted this uh, beautiful description in which he has mentioned that uh, uh, so you can uh, visualize the how this uh, uh, raw material is converted into the final product which is uh, uh, pig iron and slag. So here you can also see the uh, he has shown that how this hematite color is changing into the magnetite and then magnetite into oustite and then oustite into the molten iron. He has also shown different zone like you have a race bay zone uh, which is near this one and then you have cohesive zone which is shown by this. So the race bay zone is like that. This zone is generated when the hot blast is introduced into the blast furnace. So basically if you can see the hot blast which is introduced using this one here. So that hot blast is only up, up oxygen O2. So introduced into the blast furnace. So the border are well defined because the small coke particle on the inside and bottom help create a relatively stable structure. So this is structure what you are seeing here. So that is the race zone. Now in the cohesive zone, in this zone, the ferrous ore is reduced to uh, metallic iron and then begins to soften and melt. So from here, uh, this which is exactly where this Fe2O3 react with the uh, changes into the molten iron and from here it melts down and brings to the hearth region and from where it is coming from the uh, go to this torpedo uh, this ladle and from here uh, this can be used for the several uh, things like this pig iron you can see this pig iron so this pig iron can be go into the three things you can say that so it goes to the uh, for production of wrought iron which is the purest form of iron so in this the carbon content is less than 0 0.002 and the second one is cast iron so you can cast uh, you can cast this pig iron and you can make cast iron uh, that is done in the cupola furnace and this wrought iron is done inside i think it is in puddling furnace i that thing need to be checked and then final thing which is the major uh, the major content of pig iron goes for the steel production in ba in basic oxygen furnace that we call bof or we can also call ld furnace so the majority of the pig iron goes for the steel production but some of them also goes for the production of cast iron and the production of wrought iron so we can see that from this uh, from this video we can understand the raw material which is used for the blast furnace the final product of the blast furnace and the important reaction which we can uh, divide into the indirect uh, indirect reduction and direct uh, this reduction and also we can see the different zones and uh, we can uh, see we can uh, visualize this thing by this schematic diagram so thank you so much if you have any questions you can write down in the comment section and yeah thank you so much